All right, what's up, guys? This is Bill from HardwareObvious.com. And this is Max. How's it going, guys? And today we have a special treat for you guys. We got um, one of the parts for a custom build that Max and I are doing um, for one of Max's friends. And lo and behold, check out what we have. All right. So here we have the EVGA um, Classified Edition GeForce GTX 590. This is brand new on the market. Um, we could have gotten it earlier, but there's some... Uh, shipping delays and all that good jazz. Yep. And um, this is, EVGA is one of two companies that is making this card. Asus is the only other company that is making it, but EVGA um, has included some extra goodies, as you'll see in a moment here. And of course, Max and I are both EVGA fanboys. Yep. They made great. <laughs> they made great products, what can we say? All right, so we're, this video is gonna be our unboxing, and Max is gonna go over some of the technical specifications. As for benchmarks, um, We'll do those in a later video. All right, so as, you, nice. as you can see, it's a pretty freaking huge box. When I first saw it, I was like, wow, it's... <laughs> yeah, and the reason for this is that they are selling them in combo packs, and there's a room for a card here and room for a card here. But um, if you buy a single card, then uh, they use the same box. So that's why it's so big. But let's go ahead and get this off, and then look on the inside. So for those of you who don't know, the GTX 590 is uh, NVIDIA's first official dual Fermi solution. Um, basically, it has two cards on one PCB, and like Max said, if you buy a combo, then you have quad SLI, which is crazy because these cards are already beasts by themselves. So yeah, here we go. They're retailing at about $740. Um, at the time of this video. Yeah. All right. So here we see very nice packaging. Um, we see EVGA has included this sick um, hard top mouse pad. It's kind of flexible though. And it says limited edition at the bottom there. EVGA classified GeForce GTX 590. And it's a nice sort of metallic gray color. And it's a good size too. So this is really cool if you're planning to use it or just keep it in the plastic for safekeeping. All right, and um, here's a poster. Let's look and see what this one looks like. So yeah, this is definitely like an EVGA fanboy's wet dream right now. This is an EVGA gaming, very large poster. I'm not sure the size, but it's pretty sick. Alright, just going to toss that aside right here. And finally, they oh, yeah. include a very nice t-shirt. And on the back, they have their classified logo. Now, I don't think you can specify which size you want when you order this. Um, it comes with an extra large. I'm not sure if that's the case for all of them, but just keep that in mind. Um, all right, so that's the extras. Now, let's get rid of this foam and move on to the actual hardware. So before we delve into it, I just want to comment on the packaging. This packaging is like top notch. Um, as you can see here, um, huge box with nice styrofoam padding and then inside the package itself is a lot of foam to make sure that your expensive new GPU doesn't get hurt or anything. Yeah. All right. So let's look for accessories first. So as we can see here, we have a converter that is, it appears to be two six pin PCIe into an 8-pin because this card does take two 8-pin power connectors and then here you have the other one which is another two 6-pins. Keep in mind that they aren't even including a Molex to PCIe power because this card is so power hungry that you absolutely need a modern power supply for it. Alright, now here's a CD. Um, I believe that this has a special edition skin for EVGA's precision um, overclocking tool and uh, hardware monitoring tool for their GPUs and that's just a custom classified 590 skin and then you see it has a case badge too. And it should also come with uh, drivers but again if you want the best um, drivers always go on NVIDIA's own site as these can be outdated. Also keep in mind if you do buy an EVJ product always be sure to register it at their site um, for your full warranty as well as um, if you need help with any tech support or anything like that. Yeah absolutely. All right. And here we see a nice little pamphlet. Um, Insulation guide. There's not much to see in here, but 
there's just some information. All right, um, here's some cable adapter accessories. Now this card has a pretty unique layout. Um, it has three DVIs in the back and a few more connections. So NVIDIA has included a bunch of these to suit all your needs. Here's a DVI to VGA adapter. Here's a DVI to HDMI adapter. And here's something actually really cool. It appears to be DisplayPort to HDMI. Yep, EVGAs has included a um, mini DisplayPort on the, the card. Actually, that's not EVGA, it's the same for ASUS too, but they have a bunch of those that you can use to power different kinds of monitor types. All right, so here's the card itself. Um, because this is a combo pack thing, there's no card in here. <laughs> if only we got a free extra card, that would have been yep. pretty great. That would have been sick, but <laughs> anyway, um, so here it is. Nice big yellow attention sticker. Of course, it's packaged in an anti-static bag. You definitely don't want any electricity. Yeah, just telling you, make sure that uh, you let it cool before you remove it from your system because it does get pretty hot. You don't want to burn yourself. All right. So here's the card itself in a nice EVGA styled anti-static bag. And here is another caution about the static electricity. I'm just going to nicely remove this as much as I can. So for those of you wondering if this card will fit in your case, um, definitely if you're looking to get this card, always be sure to check if your case can um, fit it. Because this, I don't know, how much is this? 12 inches long? I don't believe it's quite that long. Well, I know. and a half, I think. ATI's card, the dual core is... The um, 6990, that one is 12 inches long, but I believe this one is a bit shorter. NVIDIA has usually been a bit shorter. Um, they like to do that, I guess. All right, so here's the card. Let's turn it around for you guys. It's very pretty. Nice EVJ sticker in the middle. Big fan that's going to suck air and blow it out the back as well as through the front. So you want to make sure that you don't have any card um, very close to this to ensure that it gets the maximum airflow. So you guys can kind of see the heat sink from underneath and the power connections. Again, you need at least two 8-pin PCIe connectors in order to power this card. Yep. And then if we look at the back, you see that oh, EVGA nice has included a back plate with the card. Asus does not do this, I believe. So EVGA um, is really proud of their products. <laughs> they want to make sure that everything looks sick. So. This is really nice if you have a window or something because you don't have to see all the pins on the PCB and it's nice and uniform with a couple of logos and detailing. All right, so I want to talk a little bit about the connections. As you can see here, there is an SLI connector for quad SLI. Keep in mind, this is two GPUs on one PCB. So you're going to have four of these monsters. Four um, kind of clocked down 580s, actually. Yeah. So here's the back side of the card. As you can see here, you have three dual link DVI ports. So, with that, you can support three monitors for full NVIDIA 3D surround support. For those of you who don't know, that's kind of NVIDIA's um, iFinity. Yeah, so and, and you don't have to do it with 3D. It can power three monitors just like iFinity can without 3D, and then the 3D is like a bonus thing. Um, take, it, take it or leave it. I'm not sure if you guys are 3D gamers, but it's definitely an option. Mm -hmm. And as you can see here, here's the display port. So in total, you can connect up the um, four monitors just directly to the card. All right, so I'm gonna talk a little bit about the specifications of this card itself. Um, so the chips that it has, as you can see right here, those are the dies, one and two. All right, so those are GF110 chips, the exact same chip that is in the 580 and the 570, just that um, these two are down clocked a bit. Um, the NVIDIA spec has it at 607 megahertz. However, EVGA has upclocked it slightly to 630. And um, apart from that, uh, each one has 512 um, shader processors. So that's 1024 shader processors in total. And um, as for the memory, the memory on this card is basically double what you would get if you got 580. That's going to be two times 1.5 gigabytes for each chip. And that's GDDR5? Yep, that's built on 384 bit. And um, oh yeah, the cores themselves are built on the 40 nanometer process. And um, 
as we said before, you can have three screens native on this without any DisplayPort adapters that cost a lot of money from Dell or Apple. And um, this card, of course, has DirectX 11 support out of the box. It has CUDA support out of the box to offload some work from the CPU. And um, it has SLI support right away. And um, last but not least, as for power consumption, um, as you saw, there are two 8 pins, so you absolutely need to make sure your power supply is um, adequate because this thing has a 365 watt TDP and um, NVIDIA on their own site they recommend a 700 watt power supply minimum and NVIDIA usually has the lowest recommendation um, that's safe and that's not even including overclocking or whatever else you might have in your case like extra fans and lights and stuff so make sure that your power supply is good enough. Yeah, if you guys are going to be using a high-end card such as the 590, you definitely do not want to skimp out on your power. Um, especially if you are going to run a card like this, chances are your CPU is going to be really high-end, you're going to be overclocking everything and generally pushing the limits um, of whatever hardware you can get a hold of. So always, always watch how much power you have. Yeah, and if you guys are going for the expensive power supplies like the ones that are gold rated in their um, 90 plus efficiency or <clears throat> that kind of thing, then it's okay to get like the 700 watt that, and um, it's not really cutting it close, but if you are getting one of the power supplies that's not as well known and not as well reviewed, um, then definitely I would say maybe go 850 plus if it's a lesser known brand. Yeah, for power, for power supplies, there's a ton of stuff you can find on the internet, so if you're looking to buy something, always be sure to do your research, and of course if you want to ask us something, um, don't be afraid to leave a comment or message us. Alright guys, so this is just the unboxing video, um, but we will have more content on this card in the future as we are putting together a little work log as we build through this um, this PC for one of my friends. So um, keep that in mind in the future and we're going to give you some benchmarks as well as we test it um, in the build process. And it's going to be an X58 chipset and everything, all the new parts with the SSD and everything. Alright guys, so there you have it. This is the unboxing of the GTX by NVIDIA, um, their 590. Um, it's currently one of, if not the top, GPU on the market right now. And we look forward to bringing you guys some um, more content about it, including benchmarks. So check back in a bit. Alright, thanks guys for watching, and please rate, comment, subscribe. Alright, you guys have a nice one.